in the complete hemodialysis series today we are going to see regarding the dialyzer reactions in the introduction the dialysis reaction or group of clinical manifestation which occur in the patient who are undergoing dialysis after the start of the dialysis even in icu or ward if you take an antibiotic can cause allergic reaction if you take the entire dialysis the blood from the patient body enters the extra corporeal circuit and the remains there inside the dialyzer there are membrane which are artificial yes there are biocompatible membrane but these are artificial membrane obviously it can elicit an reaction if antibiotic can induce severe allergic reaction similar to that of course dialyzer membrane can also elicit these are called dialyzer adverse reactions we can see there are two types if we have to name it theoretically we can divide as type a reaction or type b reaction rather than the name most important is the understanding why it is occurring first we will see the anaphylactic or serious kind of reaction which occurs immediately after the start of the dialysis especially within initial minutes up to 15 to 20 minutes it can occur why as the dialysis is started the blood from the patient is coming through the tubing to the dialyzer there might be some component where the patient might be allergic to or some chemical component which induces anaphylaxis for example inside the dialyzer previously they use ethylene oxide for sterilization especially in a new dialyzer where some chemical components are there the reaction is elicited the anaphylactic reaction then subsequently blood is going back to the patient it elicits a severe response that is might be detrimental to the patient also these are called type a reaction so what are the symptoms patient might develop immediately after the start of dialysis patient might feel severe chest pain itching nausea vomiting hypotension palpitation severe headache sometimes seizures any symptom which is occurring in the initial 10th month 10 minutes initial 10 minutes of dialysis make sure it is not anaphylaxis because it might lead to detrimental outcome so what to do if it is occurring just you have to stop the dialysis immediately don't even return the blood because the anaphylaxis might be so severe you might lose the patient within minutes so better whatever may be the dd if the symptoms is occurring within 10 minutes better stop the dialysis be ready with glucocorticoids and the patients you have to maintain the airway stabilization of course if a dialysis technologist or the resident who are seeing the video i hope you are aware what is stabilization keep the intubation stuff ready because these might be detrimental will it occur in all the patient usually no because nowadays the membrane sterilization technique is changed with adequate rinsing what is rinsing rinsing is nothing but cleaning the dialysis prior with the normal saline whatever the components which are sticking to it, it will be removed with the rinsing with the adequate rinsing with a good amount of normal saline these kind of type a reaction or severe anaphylactic reactions nowadays coming down but in the dialysis unit you should be aware of this anaphylactic reaction which can occur whether it is rare or common since the outcome is detrimental you should be good enough to immediately address it and stop the dialysis one important point don't return the blood 
don't return the blood whatever the blood which is in the circulation just disconnect from the patient discard it is the ethylene oxide or only the components of the dialyzer is it responsible there are various theoretical explanation components of the dialyzer which are responsible which are more of multiple choice question exam related not of uh, clinical practice related so summary type a reaction because of anaphylaxis more or almost it occurs within the initial minutes after start of the dialysis hypotension chest pain palpitation dramatic response from the patient might be there the bp fall might be severe at the beginning only initial 10th minute so stop the dialysis reason to the dialyzer component the patient is developing the reaction type a is over okay we will go to the type b don't worry only two reactions we are going to discuss type a is over type b this usually occurs after some time after start of dialysis what is the some time means after 30 minutes you can take approximately these are not severe patient usually develop mild symptoms like itching nausea vomiting this nausea vomiting is a confusing thing it might be a sign of severe symptom also sometimes it might be some non specific complaint also nausea vomiting per se during dialysis that will be a separate episode of discussion but at least for this type b reaction patient will develop mild symptoms like itching palpitations s very mild these are because of complemented complement activation which you might be aware complement system activation can occur without any explanation this occurs because of blood is going through the dialyzer various pathophysiological processes the complement might get activated which leads to mild type of reaction so how to prevent this you continue the dialysis no need to stop in this uh, type b reaction just continue to uh, give the dialysis symptomatic management antiemetics might be required check the blood sugar once if the bp pulse is stable you can continue the dialysis it will improve on its own as you continue the dialysis it will improve on its own so these are called type b reaction is there any other uh, reaction a dialysis patient can develop of course whenever there is any particular antibiotic we are giving after the dialysis any drugs we are giving the obviously patient will develop some kind of reaction similar to any general patient dialysis per se two reaction so coming to the summary of the this particular episode type a reaction you can remember it as a a for anaphylaxis a comes first so in the beginning of the dialysis symptoms can be severe up to cardiac arrest detrimental symptoms or detrimental outcome might be there be aware treatment stop the dialysis look for the cause so first to stop the dialysis inform the unit nephrologist he knows further how to manage how to uh, change the dialyzer membrane and all he knows how to do it type a reaction that's all type b complement mediated preferably occurs after 20 to 30 minutes as i told uh, these are mild symptoms don't need to stop the dialysis continue the dialysis it will resolve on its own so that's all regarding dialyzer reaction so before concluding one more point uh, which commonly a dialysis technologist ask so type a reaction is more with the first use or reuse of the dialyzer more common with the first use reuse if not cleaned enough as obviously patient might develop so this is one answer related to the question i usually get from a technologist so in that uh, lines since it is occurring with the fresh dialyzer or new dialyzer it is also called as first use syndrome which is the nomenclature previously leave out the nomenclature this is the pathophysiology so that's all for today